My name is Chief Commissioner Cameron Mickelson. Prepare for the new, new normal to become the norm as things go back to normal as per norm. But to return to normal, we must first define normal. Normality is a broad spectrum. At one end, we have a man like me. I am perfectly normal, almost brutally normal. I have gone deep normal. At the other end, well, I know a fellow in Dumfries who during lockdown fell in love with his cupboard. And as long as it's not illegal, I will back you returning to whatever you consider to be your normality. But I will just say, careful around the hinges. So in uniform and in civilian dress, I'll point out how best to get back to normal at work and at leisure. As usual, all my wisdom will be captured by my loyal assistant, Jean. For your information, we are not co-bubbling. She is not my bubble buddy. We are not bubbling up inside a love bubble made for two. We don't share a bubble or anything else other than a passionate, a passionate devotion to justice. As you meet and greet people again, doing so in a normal manner might be a bigger challenge than you'd first anticipated. Keep your greetings legal and acceptable. Handshake? No. Hug? No. A wee tip of the hat? Yes. A wee wink? Probably best avoided. Can be misconstrued, as I discovered uh, recently with an internal interview with HR. A firm nod, upwards or downwards, yes, this should be encouraged. As a beat cop for many years, I perfected my respectful nod on Leith Walk. I am the nod master. Headlock with a playful knuckle rub on the scalp? Big no. So, yes to a bow, a hat tip or a nod. But hugs are for mugs, shakes are for flakes, and think before you wink. We are all experiencing the joy of being reunited with loved ones. Yes, loved family members have their place, but for me, the reunion that touched my heart got my bottom lip all a quiver. I wish to be reunited once again with the old par buster. But in golf, as in the rest of Scottish life, social distancing guidelines must be followed. So careful with your mixed foursome. Be careful a four ball doesn't become a two ball. And when you give me, don't touch your partner's balls, their iron, their wood, or their shaft. And never borrow each other's putters. Their grips are extremely adhesive. And we don't advise two partners sharing the same rubber. Now we're going back to normal. We get to enjoy spectator sports at a safe distance when needs be. As Scottish football returns behind closed doors, broadcasters may play the sound of football supporters chanting during televised games. For extra authenticity, perhaps we should add in the specific sounds of each stadium. For instance, the uncontrolled sobbing of the Hearts fans. Yes, in Scotland we are blessed with judges that are the most fair and judicious in the world. I'm paraphrasing, of course, but I think that the court of session ruling was nail up hearts, boo-hoo, dry your eyes, take your medicine, enjoy the championship. Oh, and send us a postcard to Malawa. One thing that might surprise you as you emerge back into Scotland is the sun. You haven't seen it for months. You've been laying low in your bunker. Scotland is now officially the paleo-alliest nation on the planet. So remember to accommodate and factor in when you come back outside the big burning boy in the sky. So it's sanitizer on your mitts and factor 50 on your fizzer. Remember, a and &E are busy enough without having to deal with some boy who got eight degree burns at midnight in Aberfoyle. So when you're out and about and see the sun, as you readjust your eyes, Remember this handy checklist acronym, SQUINT. S for sun, Q for question, how hot is it? U for a U feeling, the heat. I for I better put on sun cream. N for never miss bits. And T for total peace of mind. Or T for tan effectively. 
or trouble about it. Really, once you get to tea, you can make up your own. We've got the message across. Tenants. You can say tenants if you want. Although, if you are saying tenants, please drink responsibly. Gene, you want to get me one of the vegan magnums?